In the model weights section within DevMap Batch, you might be wondering where do you get the model weights files and how do you use this? The first thing you need to do is go to the homepage of DevMap Batch, which is right here. You don't need to be logged into Blender Market and then go to the documentation tab right here. And the UI might change a little bit in the future from the current video, but it should be very similar in the future. Scroll down just a little bit and you'll see a download model weights file section. That's where you can download every single model weights file for depth anything, v2, minus, and minus 3.0. Depending on your needs, you'd click on each one of those and download it. I've also provided a link to the homepage for each model weights file. I'm gonna just download every single one of them. Now that you have all the model weights files saved locally, move them into a directory that you can remember to use in the future. I would recommend keep them all in the same directory. Now, if you want to use the Midas 3.0 model, which is this one here, when you download it, the file name will look like this. Only for this one, rename it to Midas underscore DPT underscore arch dot PTH. I'll just copy that and then go into the file itself and then rename it and you're good to go. So now you have all five of the model weights files. In the future, I do plan to have other model weights options, but this is what we currently have. Then go into Blender and open up your side panel and then find depth map batch. Then go into the model weight section here. I'm gonna expand it out. Now it's prompting you to select a directory where all the model weights files are located. So I'm gonna click on the little icon here, find the directory that has the model weights, which is this directory for me here. I'm gonna click accept in the bottom right. Now in the select model dropdown, you'll see multiple options for the depth map model that you want to use and pick the one based on your needs. The next section is called the model options. You'll notice that if you select either minus 3.1 or minus 3.0, that there are no options available. But if you select depth anything small, for example, then you'll see some dropdowns in the model options section. For max resolution, it defaults to 512 but you can go all the way up to 1600 depending on your computer or machine. I would be very cautious to go above 13 or 1400 because it can increase this time to generate a depth map quite a lot. I would recommend first starting out with 512 or 1024 and then going up from there to see how long it takes. For mode, there is no other options available other than default. It's currently under development. The last thing I wanna talk about is the feature to use saved path. When you enable it, and then click save as default path, it will save the path of the model weights directory in the future. Make sure to click on save as default path, otherwise it won't save it. Okay, that's all I got.